What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we talk about e-commerce, social media strategy, and all things entrepreneur. Today I'm going to go over some of the top tips that I have using print on demand and more specifically using Printful for your Shopify store. So if you want to hear videos like this, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can know when I'm posting videos. Let's get into it. All right guys, so here we are in sh inside the Shopify store. If you want to go basically go to your apps. Uh, I'm gonna assume that you've already downloaded Printful. If you haven't, go to the Visit Shopify App Store and go ahead and search for Printful and then add that to your store. So once you're inside the Printful app, um, the first tip that I'm gonna go, go give you guys, so go to Add Product, and then I'm mainly just gonna be talking about t-shirts today. Um, there's a ton of other stuff that you can do on Printful, but um, I'm gonna mainly give you tips on t-shirts. So. Add a product, go to t-shirts, and as you can see, there's probably like 20 t-shirts that you can pick from. The, the first tip I have for you guys is just don't cheap out here. Don't buy the cheapest item. So like this Gildan t-shirt is only $8.95, and while you can probably get a really good profit margin on that, um, you have to think about quality, right? As far as print on demand goes, you don't have to put any money up front. So I would recommend sacrificing some of the profit margin and get higher quality. I mean, you don't have to get the absolute highest quality, especially depending on like your niche. If you're not into, if you're not doing like a luxury t-shirt or you're just doing like, you know, meme t-shirts or something, by all means, like settle for a medium quality. But um, like, so for instance, this first one right here, the Bell and Canvas is the t-shirt that I showed you guys from the beginning. So I am not printing on Bell and Canvas anymore. I kind of wanted to go a little bit higher than that. But that's definitely a good middle ground, and at $12.95, um, you can definitely get a, a decent profit margin um, how, depending on how you set up your, your pricing. I mean, that's up to you. Um, but I would just definitely just don't cheap out and get the cheapest t shirts because you're going to have unhappy customers, the ink's not going to look as good, and you have to think long term game, right? If you have a customer, comes to your shop orders one of the cheaper t-shirts and isn't really happy with the product they're not going to come back so even though maybe you made ten dollars off of that first sale um that's it that customer is gone they're not coming back that ten dollars is gone uh, if you use say i don't know a bell in canvas or one of the other ones that's a little bit more money maybe you only made five dollars off the sale but the customer is super happy and they really like your brand maybe they're going to tell other people about it who's going to bring more customers to you and they're going to come back so maybe you know they come back and buy another t-shirt now you're at ten dollars profit for them and then they're happy with that and they're going to keep coming back you want returning customers so the first thing I, I recommend is just start your base product off with at least a decent quality um so that kind of leads me into the, my little second tip um as far as ordering so i definitely recommend that you order samples before you put anything live on your shop that's not only to test uh the quality of the t-shirt itself but you want to test the quality of the ink and you want to test you know how your design is showing up right you don't want to it might look good on your shopify store when you upload your design but that doesn't mean that you know the t-shirt is going to come out exactly how you want it and the colors are going to look exactly how you want them to so I definitely recommend that you order samples. And with the ordering samples, we'll go back to the Printful app. So if you go into orders, right from your uh, Printful screen basically, you're gonna wanna go to new order, and then you're gonna do this sample order, right? So you can get a 20% discount. And that's not 20% discount off of your price, that's 20% discount off of theirs. So it's it's not too expensive, right? You're only paying like the, the base price for what they would take from your shirt. Um, so, I mean, you can you can see what their things are about sample orders, but the main thing I wanna show you guys is if you scroll down when you're ordering uh, a sample order, you can order a color swatch to test the ink. I definitely recommend that you order this because you can see how colors are gonna show up, right? So it's just gonna basically be a t-shirt with a bunch of different little color blobs all over the t-shirt so that you know, and it'll tell you like the hex code or like the color code underneath them. So you know exactly what the color is going to look like when it comes out on the shirt. That way you can be way more comfortable down the line as you create more designs, um, how they're going to look and how they're going to show up on a t-shirt. So you can either pick a white t-shirt, black t-shirt, and then, I mean, you can do it for other, for some of the other products too, like the tanks and the leggings and stuff like that, the mug. 
Um, but like I said, just for the t-shirts, I would definitely recommend getting, a, unless you're going to do all white shirts or all black, but I would def, I would recommend getting both of them because the colors are going to show up on the two different shirts uh, differently. And that way you can use that as a reference as you move forward. So not only is it going to show you, I mean, you're already going to have to create a sample order, right? You, you're going to want to know what the stuff looks like ahead of time. And then um, I would also recommend that you order a color swatch. It, say you're using the, Pel the Bell and Canvas and then you switch to another brand of t-shirt. I would recommend ordering another color swatch because inks do not print the same on different t-shirts. Some t-shirts take the ink better than others. So order the color swatch for every type of t-shirt that you're going to use. All right, guys. So the next tip that I have using Printful is you have to be careful of the shipping rates. So if you have a base account, the $29 a month right now for Shopify, um, you don't have the option to use live shipping rates. So um, if you want to use live shipping rates, you either have to upgrade your plan or you can message Shopify and they'll basically charge you 20 extra dollars a month. So 20 extra dollars a month, especially for a store that's just starting out. I mean, that's pretty steep and I know I didn't want to do it. And I know a lot of a lot of other people are not going to want to pay that. So um, there's a few things that you need to know when it comes to the shipping. So Printful has like a really good uh, just page about the shipping speeds, what you can expect. But the thing that you really need to look at um, is not the shipping method. So is the shipping rates. So they're flat rate shipping rates. Um, so if you don't override uh, your shipping with Printful's live shipping rates, then they're going to charge you the flat rate shipping prices for each of the items that you sell. So and we're just going to look at the t-shirts. So if you look at the t-shirts, we'll just say USA just to make it easier. So the first t-shirt that you sell is going to cost you $5. So um, say you sell a t-shirt for $25 and then Printful takes like 15 of it and then they're going to take another five for shipping. So it's going to be up to you to determine whether you want to include, you know, if you want to do free shipping and kind of adjust the price of the t-shirt on your end to reflect that or if you want to do kind of set up like a flat rate shipping on your side so where maybe you're charging customers five or six dollars uh, to ship it inside the United States. I mean there's definitely a lot of strategies as far as shipping and prices go. Um, I know free shipping is pretty popular. I know a lot of people like to go to a website and see free shipping but I mean it's really up to you how you want to see this but you need to know um, what you're actually going to be, what the costs are going to be, um, if you're not going to do the live override shipping. Um, so as you can see, the first one's going to cost you $5, but each additional t-shirt's only going to cost you 75 cents. Um, and then a hoodie, the first one will cost you $8 and then each additional hoodie will cost you two. So, um, another thing to note here about the shipping is that t-shirts and hoodies will ship together. So you only have to worry about one shipping rate when t-shirts and hoodies uh, are going together because um, if somebody orders a t-shirt and a hoodie from your from your Shopify store, they will be shipped off together so they're not going to be two separate shipping rates. But one thing that you do have to note, if you have other products on your Shopify store, so say you want to sell another popular thing, so t-shirts, another popular thing that you'll sell will be hats, right? So embroidery. So you need to take this into consideration. T-shirts and hoodies, maybe they ship together, but embroidery items will not. So these will be shipped separately to your customers, guaranteed. So you're going to pay an extra shipping rate for each category. So all these categories that you see, posters, uh, canvas, mugs, totes and bags, each category gets shipped separately and you're going you're gonna to have to pay the, that first shipping rate. Um, so say I have a t-shirt I order, say I have a customer that orders one t-shirt and one hat. Uh, Printful is going to take $5 for that first t-shirt and that's what they're going to use as the flat rate shipping. And they're also going to take this $5.75 to ship that one hat because they're going separately. So you really have to consider that when you're talking about profit margins. Um, if you're not using the live shipping rates, it can get really confusing about how to calculate for this. There's just so many combinations. Um, I personally found myself especially for a new Shopify store when you can't justify spending the extra money, I would recommend just trying to go with a free shipping, especially just within the United States, and then maybe adding a flat rate for like the Canada or the international from Europe or USA, whatever, wherever you're going to be. Um, so if you go over to settings, so if you go into your home Shopify store, click settings, 
and you can kind of adjust your shipping so I'll just kind of show you guys what I'm talking about so I basically got rid of um, the shipping all the shipping rates that were in my store I added uh, for the United States just free shipping and then for Canada I have a, a little bit cheaper because Canada was just less to send and then for the rest of the world I have a flat rate so basically I did free shipping inside the United States and then a flat rate for Canada and then a flat rate for everywhere else in the world um, and I just calculated what my profit margins would be based on um, like the different combinations of what people bought just to make sure that I um, or is making a profit you know, like you definitely just want to make sure that you're not going to be losing money here because of the extra shipping and you want to make sure that you have your exact profit margins and what you're netting for each sale and then uh, just a side just a side note when it comes to kind of doing tricks around the shipping and the shipping rates um, I would consider maybe like doing two t-shirts for a certain price or something just to kind of upsell people and you can take advantage of that profit margin so maybe you know the first t-shirt is going to cost you five dollars to ship them but you know the second t-shirt if you go back to the rates the second t-shirt is only going to cost let's go back up 75 cents right so you're going to be getting four dollars and 25 cents more of a net profit off of your second t-shirt so maybe you say something like buy one t-shirt get the second one 15 percent off and then maybe Maybe it'll still, it's going to take a little bit of that profit margin, but you're still maybe going to make an extra dollar or two off the second t-shirt. So just something to keep in mind. Um, before you launch your store, make sure your shipping rates are uh, what you expect them to be. Calculate your profits and know whether you're doing an override um, or if you're going to do flat rate. Like you have to figure this stuff out before you launch. Otherwise, it's just going to be a nightmare and you know your logistics and your numbers are going to be way off. All right, guys, so the last tip that I have is just as far as designing your T-shirt. So the awesome thing is, is that you don't need to be a graphic designer. You don't need to have to know how to use Photoshop and like all the Adobe tools and Adobe Suite. Um, and you don't need any like professional training, although I'm sure it helps. I mean, they definitely can't hurt to know, you know, Adobe Photoshop skills. But for those of us who do not and are not, you know, creative uh, graphic designers, there's still hope. So... If you go to add a product and you go to add a shirt, like we said, um, we're just gonna go add whatever. It doesn't matter really for this tutorial kind of thing. So we'll just pick the bell and canvas. So when you get to like the design spot, you can't really use printfuls. I mean, unless you're just adding text, which I have never done. As I mean, you can just type it in. It'll literally show up on the T-shirt. I've never just added text. I mean, they have a good amount of fonts that you can do maybe you're just typing out a meme but if you're gonna have any kind of um, design or like a picture or anything like that anything other than text you're gonna have to basically make a design they do have this like little ad ad clip art coming soon I don't know how great that's gonna be so for now this is gonna apply for at least the foreseeable future so for those of us who don't have Adobe and Photoshop there's a tool I've talked about called Canva so if you go over to Canva, this is just my dashboard. I'm already logged in. Um, it's completely free to join. Um, they do have a paid subscription. I think it's $12 and 95 cents a month. I do recommend that because Canva can do a lot more than just t-shirt designs. Um, but I, I can go over the, I can go, kind of go over Canva paid versus free in another video. If you guys want to see that, um, just drop a comment in below and let me know. But as far as creating stuff in Canva for t-shirts, um, once you sign up for your free account you're just gonna go to create a design and then you want to use custom dimensions but real quick you can make like perfectly pixeled you know Instagram posts Twitter you can make logos and infographics and stuff but for our purposes we're gonna go to custom dimensions so I know in another video I had said for creating uh, t-shirts you want to do I think I said 36 by 48 inches and the reason I said that was because um, the customer service at Printful basically told me to do that, right? They they kind of gave me what I should use in Canva. Canva is a really popular tool for people that create t-shirts. Um, but I found that something else was actually better. So what I do is create the maximum, maximum pixeled uh, design in Canva. So 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels. I click design. And the reason I do this is just because you're going to have the max pixels and resolution 
and you can shrink it once it goes on the t-shirt and it'll actually improve the print quality as you shrink it so um, we can just create anything um, you can create any kind of text so they have you know all sorts of text that already look really great together and then you can go to um, different elements you know they have photos like frames all sorts of icons you can type anything in here so I'll just type in like fitness and then they'll come up with a bunch of pictures they have a lot of free stuff that you can use with the free version you get even more when you pay for it and then they have like some really professional high quality stock photos and stuff like right here um, that you can buy for like a dollar I don't think I've ever seen anything more than one dollar which is pretty cool so after you create your design and you download it you go back over to kind of this uh, design design feature or the design spot where you're gonna where you're making the t-shirt design and you're gonna click upload file and then choose a file so I definitely have plenty of files on here so we'll just click this one this one I was working on um, as you can see so this one's good 417 dpi so um, I think digital pixels per inch or something like that is what dpi stands for but basically just telling you what your oh, i'm sorry it's dots per inch dots per inch is what that stands for and it's just kind of telling you the quality of of your picture and the resolution that you're going to have so as you can see you know this might be a lot bigger than what i want maybe i just want to have it in the corner but as i shrink it you can see that my dots per inch are going up so um, actually the higher the dots per inch is going to be the better quality uh, design that you're going to get so you can make it however big or small you want I definitely would not recommend you know stretching it past so let's see if we stretch it past I think once it drops below like 250 or, oh you can keep, keep going keep going that's weird usually if you if you stretch it too far it'll say that it's not good I'm not sure how many um, dots per inch before it actually goes to bad it won't even let me go farther than that maybe that's why it's not doing it um, but you definitely want to check right here the print quality is high enough and it's saying that it's good because I've definitely had designs where it'll say like medium or bad and you do not want to print on that the designs not going to come out how you want it um, so yeah you just want the, the highest dots per inch as possible and this the 5,000 pixel by 5,000 pixel on Canva is um, the highest pixel design that you can make on Canva. If you try to type in a higher number, it, it won't let you. So um, yeah, that's just my my tips on creating a design in Printful. And then, like I said, you're gonna wanna you know go through the rest of the steps as far as proceeding to your mockups, in you know setting your pricing and stuff. And then definitely recommend from one of my first tips is go back and order a sample of it. That way you know the placement is right, the colors are right, and the t-shirt is gonna be exactly what you want your customers to have. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that little uh, review of Printful and some of the tips that I gave you will just help you get a successful Shopify store using print on demand and just avoid some of the mistakes that I learned the hard way and that I kind of learned by trial and error. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you smash the like button and drop a comment below and give me an idea of what you guys want to see in some of the next videos. Catch you in the next one.